Locating Creative Commons licensed images is easy on the web and there are many different ways to do it. One of the tools that I like to use is the Creative Commons search tool. When you go to the Creative Commons search tool, you can search for Creative Commons licensed images, audio, and video on Google Images, Wikimedia Commons, SoundCloud, YouTube, Photopedia, and a variety of other locations. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use Flickr. You can also search for images that you can use for commercial purposes, which I'm not planning to do, and images that you can modify, adapt, or build upon, which is something that I do want to do. And I'm going to type in my search term, hit enter, and Flickr will return a bunch of different images and sometimes video clips. I'm going to click on this image and double click it. And if you scroll down, one thing that you'll notice is, well actually what I want you to really notice, is that the date that it was uploaded to Flickr will appear. The name of the person uploading the image will appear. And then this little icon of three dots. You're going to want to click on that little icon. Select download all sizes. You're not really downloading them. And when you come to this page, this is a really important page, you will notice, so here's the image, really large version of the image. You'll notice that you can download a variety of different sizes of the image. And you'll notice the license. So this is a Creative Commons Attribution license. If you want to know what that entails, you can simply click on the link. There's also a link to the person who took the photograph. So the Creative Commons Attribution License, which is, um, this is how you would write it in the citation, and I'll teach you more about that in a minute, CCBY. With the Creative Commons Attribution License, you are free to share this image. You can copy and redistribute the material in any format or medium. So you could put it on a website, you can put it through a photo editor. You can adapt it, remix it, transform it, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially, which is pretty fantastic. As long as you use, um, as long as you use the image under these terms, you must give appropriate credit, provide a link to the license, and indicate if changes were made. So, if you created a derivative work, for example, if you put the image into a photo editor, you would have to make a statement that you have created a derivative work. So the link that you're going to want to copy is the link at the top. I'm going to do control C to copy that link. And then I'm going to download, I'm going to download the small 320 version of this image. So you click it and then click download. So it just downloaded. Then I'm going to go to a document that I've already prepared. And I'll show you how to properly cite your image. So you're going to insert your image. Okay, so there's my image. And you're going to create a photo credit. First thing, so what you're going to need, you're going to need the name of the person that created the image. And then, um, that link that you copied from Flickr, you're going to turn that into a hyperlink. You type Flickr, highlight it, click on the little um, insert link icon, and then you're going to paste the Flickr link, click on apply, and then we're also going to need a couple, we're going to need to add a couple of other things. So I'm going to go back to the Flickr link. I'm going to copy the name of the person that took the picture, control C. And I'm going to put that at the front of the photo credit. You can worry about changing the size, standardizing the size of the font in a minute. And then we also need, as you recall, the a link to the actual license. So I'm going back to where I got the picture. If I copy this hyperlink, the sum rights reserved is the hyperlink. And go back to the document that I was working on and paste that. The hyperlink is there. If you click it once and click on change, you're going to change the, change the text so that it's the actual name of the license. 
and it was Creative Commons or CC Attribution, which is BY. So CCBY stands for Creative Commons Attribution License. And click on Apply. And standardize the size of the font. I'm going to try size 14. So this is a correct photo credit for this particular image. So if you were to put this on a website, this is the, what you would need for the photo credit. You haven't done anything to change or modify the image. So I'm going to copy this part. And I'll show you why. If you create a derivative work, so if you use this picture and you modify or build upon it, your citation is going to be slightly different. So here's an example of the same exact picture put through a photo editor. I've added some funny eyes and put it through a filter. You would need to type something like this to make this legitimate. This derivative work was created under a Creative Commons license courtesy of, and then you're going to paste the name of the person that took the photograph, the link that goes back to Flickr, and then the name of the license. And that's how you, how you cite a Creative Commons image that you found on Flickr.